Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at decimal place value. So without further ado, let's begin. So we'll be looking at decimal place value, like I said. All right, so what are decimal place value? Now, we know that numbers have place values. For instance, if I write one, four, five, three, okay, we know that three over here at my far right occupies the ones position then the next number after that occupies the tens position then the next number after that is the hundred hundred position and then this one is in thousand as in their place value okay now what happens when we have decimals for instance if i have let's say 1.5432 okay now if you look at this this number is in two parts we have the whole number part this part which i will refer to as the whole number and then the part after the decimal which we can call the decimal decimal numbers Now, just like the whole numbers, the decimal numbers also have their place value. Now, for the decimal numbers, their place value is slightly different from the normal numbers or the whole numbers. So let's look at that of decimal numbers. So let's look at the place value of decimal numbers. So let's say this example is my number. Now, what are the place value for 5, 4, 3, and 2? So, my whole number is, the whole, the entire number is 1.5432. Now, I already know, we already know that the 1 over here occupies the 1's position. Now, after the 1's, in, when it's normal number, the number after that is 10's. But in this case, it is 10's. We add, we write T, E, N, then we add ths to it so the place value after the decimal point we add ths to all of them so this becomes the tenths then the number after that becomes the hundredth so you write hundred and then you add ths so hundredth then the number after that becomes the thousands thousandth thousandth and then the number after that one become the ten thousandth. Ten thousandth. Okay, so this is the place value or the decimal place value for these particular numbers. All right, so let's have a look at another example. So assuming I have the number two point three eight five zero okay so what is the place value or the decimal place value for each of the decimals so let's look at that so we are saying the number immediately or the first number after the decimal point is the tenth place value then the number after that is the hundredth hundredth then we have the thousandth thousands okay then the number after that occupies the ten thousandth position now any number after that will be hundred thousandths and so on and so forth all right so i'll give some examples so that we will name the place value of the digit all right so let's have a look at an example let me use white so we have to name the place value, the place, no, just name the place of the digit, of the digit eight in each, eight in each of the problems. Okay, so we have our first problem. 
is 0 0.387 then we have two let me cycle these guys two we have three point zero seven three eight then three we have four point eight two and then four we have one point one one eight so we have to name the place of the digit eight in this uh examples so let's go ahead and look at the solution to this problem now if you look at it let me underline the eight in the decimal places now if you look at it uh for the first example we realize that after the decimal point zero point the three occupies the tenth position and so the eight occupies the hundredth position so for i or one it is the hundredth hundredth position now if you look at example number two we have the tenth which is this number then we have hundredth and then we have thousandth then we have ten thousandth so the eight is at the ten thousandth ten thousandth thousandth position or place the ten thousandth place now if you look at example number three we have four point eight two then the 8 is immediately after the decimal place so that is the 10th place value the 10th place value and for the last example if you look at it we have 1.118 so this is the 10th this is the hundredth then this is the thousandth position so this occupies the thousandth the thousandth position all right so let's go ahead and look at the following uh, another set of examples so let me get rid of this okay so we have to name the value name the value of the underlined of the underlined underlined digit okay so i have i i have 6.5937 i will underline the digit later i have i i 5.371 i i i i have 7.5 4032 and then IV I have 0 0.4215 okay so for the underlying digit the first one I have 9 as my underlying digit the second one I have 3 the third one I have 2 okay and then the last one I have the 1 over here as my underlying digit all right so let's look at the value they are not saying the place value they are saying the value of it so the value over here you can write it in two ways you can either write 0 0.09 or you call it in terms of uh, the place value okay so let me give an example so for the first one we know that after the decimal point the five is the tenth after that the nine occupies the hundredth position so I'll write the nine and I just add hundredth, hundredth, okay, to it. So it means the nine occupies the nine hundredth position. Okay, let me write this. Oh, so hundredth position. All right, if we look at three, three occupies the tenth position. So I write three tenths. Okay, that is the value of three. For the third question, the two, the two occupies, this is tenth, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So it occupies ten thousandth position. So I will make it two, ten thousandth, thousandth position. And then for the last one, the one over here occupies the thousandth position. So I write one thousandth thousands okay as my answer so for this it is 
nine hundredth, for the three it is three tenth, for the two it is two ten thousandths, and then for the one it is one thousandth. That is the value of the underlying digit. All right, so let's have a look at uh, some few examples more to further appreciate what we are doing as decimal place value. So I will write some numbers, okay? So I have 8.246, I have another number, 3.611, then I have 1.062, then I have some preambles, and based on the preamble, I will find the answer. So they said, which number, which number has a digit with value with the value okay with the value six tenth six tenth okay so you have to write your answer here for i i which number which number has a digit as a digit with the value six hundredth hundredth okay and then for the last one which number has a digit of the value six thousand so everything here is the same so everything here is the same all the way over here to six thousandth thousandth okay so for the so for the third one okay so let's have a look at the answer for this problem now if you look at all the numbers that we have for the first number this is tenth this is hundredth this is thousandth okay so this six is occupying the thousandth position or the thousandth place this six is occupying the tenth place and then this one is occupying the tenth hundredth this one is the hundredth hundredth place now that i've identified the place of the numbers which is six in this case i can just go ahead and write my answer so for i which number has the digit with the value six tenth and if you look at it it is the number 3.611 now which number has a digit with the value 600 if you look at it it is this number so it is 1.062 and then obviously the last one will be our final one so which number has a digit with the value 6000 that will be 8.246 so thank you very much for watching this is the decimal place value and some of the possible questions that you can have around it there are other questions that they can ask but always know that after the decimal place value the number that comes after that is the tenth the first number is the tenth place value after that then we have the hundredth the hundredth then after that one then you have the thousandth thousands and you have the ten thousands okay then you have hundred thousands thousands etc etc all you need to do is to maintain the place value for normal numbers but add ths to read and then that becomes that of the decimal place value so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye